Official Android 4.3 isn't available for the Galaxy Note 2 yet. However, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean in the form of Cyanogen Mod 10.2 is now officially available. If you aren't sure what Cyanogen Mod is, go ahead google it before you decide to flash it because this is not a touch with based rom this means you won't be getting your samsung touch with functionality like uh, multi windows and so on but still this is the latest version of android and if you want to flash it here are the prerequisites number one this works with only the international variant of the galaxy note 2 that is the n7100 number two you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery like clockwork mod recovery installed if you haven't done that already, you can follow my tutorial on how to root your Galaxy Note 2 and get a custom recovery installed. I'll leave the link to that tutorial right below the like button. Go to the download section in the description, click on link 1, that will take you to this page. Click on the latest CyanogenMod10.2.zip, download it. Clicking on link 2 will take you to this page. Over here, select GApps for Android 4.3, download it. Once you've downloaded these two zip files, transfer it to the internal or external memories of your Galaxy Note 2. Once you've done that, go ahead back up everything on your phone because we will be doing a factory wipe here. Once you've packed everything up, go ahead turn off your phone. So once your phone is off, go ahead hold up volume, power and home at the same time. Keep holding it till you see Galaxy Note 2 displayed. Once you see that, let the keys go. This will take you to clockwork mod recovery. Alright. Now, once we are in Clockwork Mod Recovery, the volume rockers will act as navigation keys and the power button doubles as a selection key. So first off, go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card if you have the files, both zip files on your internal SD or select choose zip from external SD. I have it on my internal SD. Alright guys, before you do this, actually go back, go into backup and restore and select backup. So this is to back up the current ROM you're on because uh, in case you want to go back to your current ROM, this is the easiest way. Boot back into recovery the same way, say, uh, hit restore, select the ROM that you backed up and uh, everything will be back to the way it currently is. All right, make sure you do this. Uh, it isn't mandatory, but it's highly recommended. All right, I've done that already. So like I said, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Navigate to wherever it is that you have both these files. I have it in a folder called CM10.2. So first select the big one, the CM10.2.zip file. Select it. Hit yes install. Now this will take about a minute to uh, complete. Just wait for it to complete. Alright guys, we're done. So now again select choose zip from SD card. Navigate to the same folder. And now select the gapps file. Select it, give it a few seconds to complete. Installation done, so now go back. Now select wipe data slash factory reset. Hit yes, delete all user data. And now go down, wipe cache partition. And of course, on select advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. Go back, hit reboot system now. Give it a few minutes to boot. Guys, remember the first time your phone boots into a fresh ROM, uh, the boot time is always going to be a little longer than your regular boot time. So don't be worried if it takes you a few minutes. Just wait for it and your Galaxy Note 2 will boot up. All right, guys, we're up. Let me quickly run through setup. Alright guys, we're up, so quickly going into settings. And there you go, Cyanogen Mod 10.2, Android 4.3, Jelly Bean. So guys, that's pretty much it for the installation of Cyanogen Mod 10.2 onto your Galaxy Note 2 N7100. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, feel free to hit us up at cursedforever.com slash forums. And in the meantime, if you guys have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. The direct links to all my social networks can be found right below that like button there. So once again guys, thanks a lot for watching and if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, this is Ash here from CursedForever.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.